right in the center of the Milky Way, 26,000 light years from us, lies the heaviest object in the entire galaxy, hidden by a vast cloud of gas and stars. It's a supermassive black hole, containing the mass of four million suns. Crushed down into a single point by its own gravity. The closer you get to the black hole, the stronger the gravity. Get really close, and not even light can escape. So it's wrapped in a sphere of darkness 15 million miles in diameter. A black hole like this one has a dramatic effect on time, slowing it down far more than anything else in the galaxy. That makes it a natural time machine. I like to imagine how a spaceship might someday be able to take advantage of this spectacular phenomenon. Of course, it would first have to avoid being sucked in. The trick, I think, would be to aim just off to the side, so they'd miss it. They'd have to be on exactly the right trajectory and speed, or they'd never escape. Get it right, and the ship would be pulled into orbit. A giant circle 30 million miles in diameter. Here it would be safe. Its speed would be enough to keep it from falling any further in. If a space agency were controlling the mission from Earth, or anywhere else far away from the black hole, they'd observe that each full orbit took 16 minutes. But for the brave people on board, close to this massive object, Time would be slowed down. And here the effect would be far more extreme than near the pyramid or planet Earth. The crew's time would be slowed down by half. For every 16 minute orbit, they'd only experience eight minutes of time. experiencing just half the time of everyone far away from the black hole. The ship and its crew would be traveling through time. Imagine they circled the black hole for five of their years. Ten years would pass elsewhere. When they got home, everyone on Earth would have aged five years more than they had. The crew of the spacecraft would return to a future Earth. They would have made a journey not only in space, but in time. So a supermassive black hole is a time machine. But of course, it's not exactly practical. It has advantages over wormholes in that it doesn't provoke paradoxes. Plus, it won't destroy itself in a flash of feedback. But it's pretty dangerous. It's a long way away, and it doesn't even take us very far into the future.
Fortunately, there is another way to travel in time. And this represents our last and best hope of building a real time machine.